Welcome to the last Now in Android of the year, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll cover the release of Gemini, the new MLKit subject segmentation API, and Android Studio Hedgehog. On December 6, we announced Gemini, our most capable AI model yet. It's been optimized for three different sizes, Ultra, Pro, and Nano. Gemini Nano is our most efficient model built for on-device tasks, running directly on mobile silicon, which provides open support for offline, privacy-sensitive inference. We announced that you will soon be able to use the Google AI Edge SDK to leverage Gemini Nano through Android AI Core. It is currently rolling out to Pixel 8 Pro with more devices and silicon partners to be announced in the coming months. AI Core is currently being used to summarize content in the Recorder app, even when the phone's network connection is offline. If you're interested in building apps using Gemini Nano and Google AI Edge SDK, please sign up for our early access program. The new MLKit subject segmentation API is now in beta and lets you easily separate subjects from the background in a picture. The API takes an input image and generates an output mask or bitmap for the foreground. It also provides a mask and bitmap of each one of the subjects detected. It enables cool use cases such as background swap, or add unique effects to people, pets, or objects with just a few lines of code. To get started, go to the MLKit documentation. Android Studio Hedgehog is now stable, and it's packed full of upgrades, such as improvements to Android Vitals and the App Quality Insights and the new Power Profiler. The Android SDK Upgrade Assistant now makes it easier to upgrade applications to target Android 14. Finally, there are a number of tools to make it faster to develop using Jetpack Compose, including previews, gallery mode, compose state information in the debugger, and compose multi-preview templates. We have several new blog posts for you to check out. Read more on the virtual machine as a core Android primitive, the Android Virtualization Framework, AVF, that will be available on upcoming Android 14 devices. Learn how it will offer platform developers and privileged app developers new capabilities. Also, read more on the launch of KSP2 Preview, which introduces support for the new Kotlin compiler, codename K2, and a new standalone source generator that provides more flexibility and features than the current Kotlin compiler plugin. Finally, learn more about how NordVPN boosted its speed of its login user flow by 60% using baseline profiles. Check out the video on enhancing Jetpack Compose performance, where Tomasz demonstrates techniques for performance through measurement, debugging, and strategic optimization. The easiest optimization technique is to keep Jetpack Compose updated to benefit from the performance improvements that we implement under the hood. Another is to enable R8 and generate a baseline profile, which can significantly optimize code execution. And thirdly, if you change state rapidly in some cases, explore the option to defer the compose phase to prevent unnecessary recomposition. Check out the video for a more in-depth explanation. We had several exciting new features launched in Android Jetpack. In Activity 1.9 Alpha, Component Activity now implements on-user leave hint provider to allow components to callbacks for on-user leave hint events. In WebKit 1.10 Alpha, we added a new API to Web Settings Compact to control this experimental Android Web View Media Integrity API behavior. You can see all the Android X release notes here. That's it for this week with Gemini, AI Core, MLKit, Android Studio, AVF, KSP2, Performance, and more. Check back next year for our next update from the Android Developer Universe, and happy holidays.